Welcome back to the wizard shop. We're going to be tackling the rear drum brakes on this 74 Datsun 260Z original 10,000 mile survivor car. We're going to be replacing the wheel cylinders and the flex hoses, flushing out the lines and getting that all taken care of. And once we get this done, we will have the brake system fully gone through and ready. That part will be ready for the road. Here we go. Okay, so now we're at the rear of the car. These are the drums. And again, we're taking the flex hoses off so we can flush the lines out. So we're going to take this same procedure back here. Go ahead and take this happy little bolt off here. Actually, it's a nut, but that one came loose nicely. Okay, we don't want that little nut to be lonely, so we'll do a second little happy little nut over here. I'll take these tabs off again. And there's that flex hose. This is this rear wheel cylinder. It's also a parking brake. This is a brand new one. It's basically on the back. On these, you have to peel back this rubber boot. And then there's a, uh, a clip in here. Take the parking brake portion of it off. Take the clip off. Now we have this that we can work with. Go ahead and take the old one off. And there's a hard, small hard line here that we'll have to flush out and get the old fluid out of that. Right now I'm prying this boot out of the way. And there's a cotter pin right on this side where I'm at to take off the parking brake cable. There's a little cotter pin here. Take the little pin out and our parking brake cable is now free. I'm just using a flat screwdriver just to Pry, pry them out of there. One sits on top of the other. And there's the second one. Have to kind of pry the shoes out of the way. Now there's the wheel cylinder, the old one. And we need to get the old parking brake lever out. It's pried out on the shoe to give me clearance to get that out. The next step is to put the new parking brake lever in. It goes in just like this. It just kind of slides in. Again, we'll pry out the shoe. Okay, so now we have a parking brake lever in place. Next is the new wheel cylinder. We'll leave the little plug in there so we don't get any dirt in it or anything. I'll use this old one to show you on it like that. It pivots on here. This would adjust the brakes. So you want to get those to match up together. You want to make sure that the slot on both sides of the wheel cylinder fit into the shoe or over the shoe. Just like so on that. I've got my pivot pin all lined up. Next step is to put our clips on. The smaller one goes first with the little dimples pointing towards the inside of the car. 
So this one goes in this way, the little one, and this one goes on top of it, and the dimples fit into the holes. So we're going to put the little pin back into the parking brake cable, into a new lever. Put a new cotter pin into it. Okay, so we got a cotter pin in there, and we're going to put our rubber boot back. You want to make sure you get your rubber boot on first, because you still have to put on a brake line. So we flushed out this line here, we're ready to put that back on. This is a time where you can take out your little dust cover that was on the wheel cylinder. <clears throat> Put our line back in. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to put on our uh, flex hose. These are steel braided ones that that uh, Bill sent in. Typically in, in most shops and especially in mine they don't really care for people bringing in their own parts because we don't know where you got them. We can't hardly claim, let you claim warranty on a failed part when you brought it in. We don't even know where you got it. So it causes a lot of issues that way. But for Bill I let him bring his own parts in because these are hard to find. It saved me a lot of time. I didn't have to spend a lot of time searching. He did that for me so it's worth it to me on that end. So we're going to put this flex line put them back into these locations. I'm going to put our clips back in. Make sure they get seated all the way on. We'll go ahead and put the next one on. Go ahead and put our hard lines back on. Okay, and then these usually these flex hoses that are steel braided like this have a. You want to make sure you don't forget about these. Your your rubber flex hoses aren't going to have this, but they have their own little fittings here. Make sure you get those tight. Okay, that's pretty much it for the the rear brakes, other than bleeding the whole system. Okay, so we got the majority of the brake work done. As I said, the other side's identical. You can go ahead and, when you go to do that side, it'll be just like this side. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell. There's a link below you can click on to buy some of these tools through the Amazon affiliate. If you're interested in buying them, they're there for you. And uh, again, thanks for watching.